Captain's log. We are arriving at the last known position of the USS Republic, which reported that it was under attack 12 hours ago. Captain, the ship's sensors have picked up what appears to be a starship. Minimal life support, minimal engine power, and only two life forms, one on the bridge, the other in sickbay. Both appear to be gravely injured. It is the Republic. Howdy, everybody! Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Star Trek 25th Anniversary! Plus, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the car. I am preparing an information packet for oh. Starfleet. Shall I send it, or wait for you to return? Send it now. If a hostile ship arrives, head immediately for Starbase 24. When we last left off, we, uh... Found that a, ro a moon that had been blasted during a previous alien war had a missile base on that was about to annihilate the civilization. We took care of that through making it fire the missiles harmlessly into the sun. Instead of, you know, just blowing it up! Anyway, appears to the Republic, the ship that we did war games with in the first episode, is uh, not looking too good there. Not looking too good at all. Wait until we get back. No sense giving Starfleet incomplete information. If anyone else arrives, beam us aboard and raise shields immediately. Send it now. If a hostile ship arrives, head immediately for Starbase 24. Bingo! And, oh, crap! Oh my God, Jim, what kind of butcher would do something like this? I don't know, Bones. We're too far from the Klingon and Romulan borders for it to be one of their ships. Enterprise to Captain Kirk. Kirk here, what is it, Scott? We picked up a distress signal. It appears a trading vessel is having a wee bit of trouble with her warp drive. What condition is the Republic in? It's a mess, Scotty. Life support's functioning, but that's about it. I've done a primary scan of the Republic's systems. Main and auxiliary power is out. Life support is stable. I also read that communications are operable. Should we beam you back, Captain? Do the sensors read any other ships in the sector? Besides the trade vessel, this sector is clear, sir. Mr. Scott, we will continue here. Assist the trade ship and return here. If we need assistance, we'll contact you. You sure you'll be all right, Captain? Yes, Scotty. Just don't take too long. Kirk out. Well, gentlemen, let's see if we can re-establish power. Jim, don't forget. There's another survivor on board. We've got to find him. Why would I think that 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 freighter with it or that transport ship with his vessels is a decoy? Why do I want to think Save that? New game. I want to think that so bad. Anyway, let's begin by uh, examining uh, everything. Starting with the computer. Captain, records indicate that this ship was attacked by a Constitution-class starship. Any idea of which one it was? I am reading the record of the transponder signal, NCC-1701. It's the Enterprise, Captain. What? Someone must have tampered with the computer records. May I remind you, Doctor, that the main computer of a Constitution-class starship has safeguards against such an intrusion. Furthermore, I do not see any discrepancies in any of the files that I am able to access. Oh. Okay, so there's another Enterprise running around? Tricorder readings indicate that the ship is running on minimal battery power. Only life support and essential systems are currently running. Oh. Oh, Captain Sir looks... My poor. Tricorder has picked up the final entry of the Republic. We're under attack. Our sensors are inoperative. We're trying to get shields up. Our rear deflectors down. It appears our enemy is a Constitution-class starship. We've tried to defend ourselves. We've hailed them, but no response. That's all there is, Captain. Dick Patterson was never one for making long speeches. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see if we can scan the bodies here. We're too late. This man must have died just a few moments ago. Can you bring him back? What? I Punctured lung, nerve damage, brain damage, fractured arm and ribs. It's a miracle he lasted as long as he did. He's not coming back, Jim. Mm. They're dead, Jim. All of them. They're all dead. They're dead, Jim. All of them. Well, crap. So, so, a Constitution-class starship pretending to be the Enterprise got to jump on the Republic. 
Okay, so where the, where the hell are we going? Auxiliary control. Okay, where do we go? Auxiliary control. Okay, I guess right there. Oh, Lord. Uh, scan this man. There's nothing more I can do. Okay, so let's just scan everything. Captain, uh, er, Mr. Spock! Blah, 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 blah. Readings of the door indicate a jam in the gear mechanism. Alright, we'll just, uh, Kirk, open the door. The panel has been fastened shut with some kind of sealant. Uh, okay, so I need to find a tool. Of some sort. This corridor leads to auxiliary control. It is a real mess. A molecular saw. The 23rd century equivalent of a hacksaw. Oh, I, that, that could... Okay, that could be useful. You retrieve the molecular saw. Okay, we're going back to the bridge? Okay. Okay, so obviously I need to use it on that beam. The molecular saw easily cuts through the beam, separating it from the hull. You pick up the beam. It's a little heavy, but you manage it. Okay, the walkthrough recommends Save saving. Game. Replace previous. So uh, let's uh, do that, and we're going head to sick bay. Okay, where's the hell sick bay? Oh, doctor, doctor, could you please scan this man? There's nothing more I can do. Of course. There is a twisted mess of wire and metal falling from the gaping hole in the ceiling. It is blocking access to Turbo Lift 2. Uh, okay, can we go into the sick bay over there? Oh god! Wait, no. He's dead, Gemma. I can't bring him back. Uh, she might be- I can't believe it. That's Brittany Murata. I knew her from my academy days. We studied alien history together. The hyper spray in the You pick up the empty hypodermic injector. She's suffering from severe trauma and internal bleeding. I'll see what I can do. Do what you can, Bones. I need to find out what happened here. You retrieve the medical drill. Oh, she's in bad shape, Jim. I've tried to stabilize her, but it doesn't look good. Oh, crap. Now, my time! Oh, crap. I'm, am I timed? Oh, crap. Walk to the right. Well, gentlemen, let's see if we can re-establish power. One of the many battered corridors of the USS Republic. It has seen better days. Much better days. Uh, now I'm supposed to be looking for One a of the many no, I, shut up. I'm supposed to be looking for a wire. Wait, you mean this cable? This is a length of heavy-duty insulated power cable. Uh, God dang, it's hard to even see that! You've taken the cable. Okay, now we use the... this. 
Let's clear that path here. Oh, okay, now we're okay, so we're gonna clear that. The ceiling appears stable. We should now be able to use Turbo Lift 2, Captain. Okay, now we should be able to hopefully HOPEFULLY get to engineering! Oh, God. It's even more of a mess here. Scotty would Captain, lose I'm his mind. Captain, I'm picking up a functioning energy source in the immediate vicinity. This person's dead, Jim. Functioning energy source? What are you talking about? I'm picking up a high energy power source somewhere under the debris. I recommend caution, Captain. Well, what do you do with caution? You shoot it. Oh my god, Jim, is that what I think it is? Yes, Doctor. It is a portable fusion power pack. A few centimeters lower with that phaser and half the section would be history. Not to mention us. <laughs> Actually, Doctor, 3.2 centimeters. And based on our proximity to the explosion and the angle of the beam. Thank you, Spock. I think we get the point. Yes, I think we do get the point. We could have died! We could have freaking died! We could have vaporized ourselves! That's why you should not always use a face in a queer thing! Sometimes use your hands! Sweet baby, merciful Jesus. Okay. Okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna take it. Why we're gonna take the power pack? Why? Why not? You pick up the portable fusion power pack. Okay, uh... Oh, it's a door here. Oh, this is even more of a mess. Scotty would be crying right now. He would be literally crying. This person's dead, Jim. I, I know. I just gotta make sure, you know? I just gotta make sure, you know? Okay, now we gotta... Uh... Kirk! Take you order. fail to obtain any... It's the wrong thing. Kirk, open this. The closet opens, revealing a library of engineering technical journals. And why am I using... Why am I doing this? The hypo is now filled with multi-purpose oil. Why would I do this? Okay, well, okay, I guess I need to take the technical journals. You take the engineering technical journals. The oil canister is bolted to the hull oh, okay. and can't be taken. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's scan some stuff here. What the hell is this? This is an engineering circuit junction box. It is used for temporary rerouting of power. Without using one of these devices set to the proper impedance, an overload can occur. Hmm. <sighs> okay. The impulse engines are intact, Captain. We could use the fusion reactors from the impulse engines to restore power, but the lines have been severed to the power regulator. Can we reroute the power lines? We should be able to, Captain, if we can find a suitable supply of power cable. We will need to route the power through a junction box so we can set an impedance level. A direct connection to the regulator would cause an overload. Oh, that don't, oh isn't an overload bad? Save new game. Replace previous. Is it, isn't it overload bad? Whatever. Okay, um, where's the, where's the way out? Okay. And we 
need to head to... Head back to engineering. Wait, 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 wait. I, I just went... Turbo lift access is blocked by an extremely high radiation level. Oh. Oh, it's the upper boy. No. Nope. Ah, god dang it! Which way? Where am I going? Way. Use both cables on the holes into both consoles. Oh, because I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have to go to. I, I'm, I'm reading too far ahead. I got confused. Where's the transporter bay? Transport room. Oh, that's a freaking mess and a half. Oh, there's a table I can take and just grab that. You pick up a length of cable. Oh, this whole yeah, this ship's gonna definitely go to the freaking scrap heap after this. Wait, wait, go back, go back for it. Kurt, Kurt, could you go back for a second? I, I, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw some. Oh. Um, I just, this man did. This man is dead. Obviously, this man has been impaled through. The freaking deck fell on him and pushed him through. That man is obviously dead. Sweet baby, Jesus. Okay, so, uh, let's scan everything here. Surprisingly, the transporter controls have escaped damage. That's, that's a frickin' shock and a half. Hey, Spock, play with it a bit, would you? The impulse engines are not generating any power for this system. Of course not. Of course, why would they? Because the ship's busted! <laughs> Well, let's see if we can, uh, back to engineering. And use the cables. You connect a length of cable between the impulse engine and the junction box. Excellent! Nothing happens. Yeah, Nothing I, happens. Shut up! I clicked the wrong spot. Shut up, computer. You connect a length of cable between the regulator circuits and the junction box. Okay. Well, we've done that. Now we just need to, uh... This might be a long episode. <laughs> might be a bit of a longer episode. Might, depending on how much this takes. Okay. Okay, oh crap, one moment. Down. Head to ox control. This turbo lift cannot reach that area of the ship. Oh, no. Go, go, go here then. Okay, now what am I do here, doing here in Ox Control? Oh, use the laser drill. Ooh, it the drill like that. easily breaks through the seal of the panel. Perk. The panel opens easily. 
Okay, I think it needs some oil. So we'll go ahead and... The oil seeps into and loosens the debris. The gears are completely cleared of debris. Okay. Okay, this is auxiliary control and uh, it looks just as... Well, it's not as bad as the bridge looks, but... Yeah, it doesn't... It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Save new game. No, don't save new game. Save save where I want you to save. Save new game. Replay. <sighs> okay. Spot. Scan everything and tell me what you see. This input-output slot for the record decks is still functional, Captain. These are the auxiliary helm and navigation controls for the Republic. Though they are intact, the ship is in no condition to move under her own power. Finally now, what's the key? Mr. Spock, what is the status of the ship's computer? There is extensive damage to the main processing unit of the ship's computer. It will take several days at a starbase to repair. We don't have several days, Mr. Spock. Unless we can find a suitable computational alternative, there will be no way to control the ship's systems. That's just great, Spock. We don't exactly carry an M5 computer in our inventory. Correct, Doctor. However, there may I be don't want an M5. Linked tricorders, along with the circuits in the data reader, should have the processing power necessary to control a single starship system. Thank goodness for parallel processing. I don't know what computers could do without it. Oh. Ooh, those look, those look important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab those. You take the record decks. The right station three times. Okay, let's use the records. That would be these. Captain's log. Stardate 6087.6. The Republic is currently approaching the Vardane system. Sensors have detected unusual energy fluctuations near one of the Vardanian moons. Starfleet has ordered us to investigate. Uh oh. Okay, so, okay, Starfleet's ordered you to investigate. What happened? Nothing happens. Captain's log. Stardate 6087.8. We are under attack by two unidentified ships. I don't know how they could have approached undetected. They must have some kind of cloaking device, although there are no reports of Romulans in this sector. Is that it? Captain Star Stardate 6088.1. We have successfully driven off our assailants. Major damage has been sustained by our warp engines. Communications has reported that USS Enterprise is in sector. I requested Mr. Scott's assistance in repairing damage to the Republic. With luck, we will be fully operational in a couple of days. We were nowhere nearby. But yet they, they, they said we were there. Hmm. Is someone really playing playing us for a fiddle? Oh, okay, you're going to do it? Okay. Captain, I have examined the engineering journals. According to Chapter 18, we can run... Jim, do we really need a lesson in starship engineering? Yes. Spock, just tell me if they will help. Why, yes, Captain. Oh, good. Oh, good. They will. They will help. Uh, so now... We go back to engineering. Uh, which means I gotta take the data. Sick bay. Engineering. And of course, save, because, yeah, that save would be smart. New game. Replace previous. So, it appears that the data suggests that the Enterprise attacked the Republic and crippled her severely, killing most of its crew. But we were busy off somewhere else. Was it really? Was it? We can't defend the Enterprise, but who's running around playing as the Enterprise? And will we catch them? 
Find out next time, indefinitely, the final episode of the Big Man Plays, Star Trek 25th Anniversary. Until next Big Fatty Plus, Sayonar. And whomever's playing as, wh whoever's cosplaying as the Enterprise, they're about to get hit with a cease and desist order in the form of some advanced torpedoes. And my foot.